Welcome back to Coyote Stencil Shop. We're going to be talking about the intermediate level of um, um, tools and um, procedures and show you some of the kind of fun things about Coyote. We um, sometimes want to work in multiple woods. Now, as you recall, we had this thing laid out in um, different colors woods, but just as a preview, we're going to go back and do that again. Setup materials preview, background, Alanthus, foreground, American black walnut. And as you recall, it looks like this when it's done. But let's say you wanted to do this shirt in another color, or at least wise give it the appearance of it, or another type of wood, give it the appearance of another color. What you do, you finish the preview, and in order to map, now as you recall, we map the background to one one color of wood, we map the foreground or this black to another one. What you do is you go in and grab this color wheel up here and map a third color or as many colors as you want as you go along. Let's go in here and take a look. Let's just use this red that's here. Let's grab the fill button right here. And we're going to come in here and with just the tip of the fill, I'm going to zoom in for you so you can see this a little bit better. With just the tip of the fill, you come in here and start clicking on things, and you can now fill it to a different color. You say to yourself, well, that's all fine and dandy. What do I get for that? And I'll say, well, I'm going to show you in just a sec here. Some of these spots you may or may not want to fill. You may just want to come back in with the black and, and just get rid of them. But that's Again, that's between you and your bench. Um, but let's say that we've got everything that we want to do filled in now. I'm going to zoom back out. I'm going to try to get this little guy right here. <sighs> There's an example of the why we put that undo button in. There we go. Let's zoom back out. Now you can see his shirt's pretty much filled in. I would probably come down in here and fill these in too. If you want to give it the appearance of a different wood, but you're going to probably have to do something right here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Pin, grab the black, Come back over. Now, we may have picked a separate color black than what was being done before. But you see how I close that in? All right, now you come back to your fill button. You've got the red right here. And you fill this in. You see what happened? So get those last two dots. And we're good to go. Now we've got this guy's shirt mapped out in two colors. The black, the black right here, and the red. Okay, that being said, let's go down to the to the uh, preview and map that last color. Now remember, I put some black in right here, and we may have another new black because there's so many different tones of it. Let's go in here and do setup materials preview. Now you've got red. There's your second black. Doesn't matter because we'll map it also. Background, Alanthus foreground, this black to American black walnut this one to American Black Walnut. The red now, let's map it to something that is, let's say butternut. That's kind of fun. We do butternut and we say OK and now watch what happens when you do show materials preview. See that? Now you've got your Alanthus, your Black Walnut, and your butternut right there inside there. And This works well for marketry and Tarja and some other f facets of industries that uh, where you're using multiple materials. Um, and it's, it's a fun, easy way to be able to get the project done. Another thing that you may want to do as you go along is start building those areas in um, separate layers so that when you cut them out, you can do, you, and you, whenever you print them out, you can cut them out uh, to fit each side, you know, to fit that one, side, that one size. Okay, let's step back out of finished preview. And um, let's talk about um, adding text because that's kind of a fun thing to do. These two guys are probably best buddies. Uh, we're going to zoom out, <clears throat> and you may want to you may want to put in a date or you know a, a memorable note. You click the text button, and notice what happens to the mouse now. It becomes a plus with an A, meaning that you can now add text. Now you're going to add it up here, but you can add it anywhere. You click in somewhere on the canvas, the text builder comes up. You click inside here, and you type in best buddies. Now you can make this any size you want. I'm going to take it up to 48 because it's easy to see. You can change your, your um, fonts. And the fonts are anything that's inside of your, your Windows machine. And let's take the, this one right here and we're going to create a new layer. And you click OK. Now watch what happens. See, it's attached to the mouse. 
So you can really set it up anywhere you want. And while we're at it, I'm going to come over here and show you that it's in its own layer called text layer. So we're going to click right here. And you say, okay, that's perfect. And then you go, oh, but you know what? It's in red. And I didn't want to cut that out and turn it into um, the butternut. I wanted to use it as a completely different wood. So what you do is you make sure you're on this layer right here. You come over to your modify button. Um, now we're still in text. Come to the select button. I'm sorry. Come to the select button and in select make sure that you are on rectangle. This one's the easiest to get. Come back over and make sure you're on the text layer with select and then you select this section right here. Now you've selected a particular section inside of a layer. In this case you've selected all of it because that's all that's in that text layer. But nonetheless you now come over and you hit modify. Now modify is just livened up and you'll see down here that you can do all sorts of things. You can flip it, you can rotate it, you can mirror it, but most importantly is right here you can colorize it. Now before you hit that I want you to come up here and grab this blue and see how it changes that blue right there. This is the this is the color you're working with right now. That blue right there is the blue that we were using for, I believe it was, we were using for the, um, um, well, you know what, as a matter of fact, yeah, let's just use blue and let's turn it into um, mulberry. So now you've got a new color and we're going to colorize it. So you hit coloring and you say set the color to the current color. And the current color is the one that's in the main window, right, the prevalent window right there. And then you say click. Now, see what happened? You went in. You set the layer, you hit select, you chose rectangle, you selected it, then you went over to modify, and from modify you went, you made sure your color wheel was at the right color, and from modify you went from there over to change the color, and you say select the original color. Now when we come down here, here we go to print preview, set up materials preview, we now have a new color. And we're going to set that one to, what did I say it was mulberry, and that'll be a bright yellow. There we go, mulberry. So now you say OK. Now you do your materials preview. And, the, and you say to yourself, you know, it probably wasn't such a good selection, but it sure is a good example of how you can add woods by adding sections. And in this particular case, we not only added more wood, but we showed you how to put text in um, a particular a window. If you go back to materials preview and we click on this one and we change it over to something that's probably a little bit better, let's go to pecan because you can see that. Pick on Pont Pecan, you go right here and you say, let's see what that looks like. And there it is in Pecan. So you've got American Walnut, Alathias, um, whatever this was, Coconut, whatever. And uh, Best Buddies is in uh, the last color. So that's a new, new way to do that. And it allows you to um, change out and personalize your projects. This pretty much concludes the intermediate level. I'm going to come back and show you in the advanced level how to fill these areas in in a real fast fashion. You may or may not need to, but I'm going to show you how you can. Uh, we'll be back in just a sec. Just, you're gonna, you'll need to navigate over to the advanced uh, 